goodness, the weather was filthy. To my love, took it down. So this is the doom your house is going to meet. Yes. Yeah. And Kane's studio is falling off a cliff. And Kane, are you happy? I am happy because I'm being creative. So, what good would a happiness course be? Kane was rather sceptical. However, I returned a few days later and... On the day, I went along with it and I kind of enjoyed it. But when I went away that, that, uh, that afternoon and thought about it, I thought, well, I'll try some of these things and I'll apply some of these things. And I have to say, things have happened. He'd thrown a party for his wife and all their friends. The bit that had really stuck was the kindness, the people bit, getting on with others. Loneliness is the dominant driver of, of, un, of human unhappiness because we know that anything from uh, obesity to heart disease to mental health to alcoholism to drug addiction to crime are all strongly correlated with loneliness with unhuman isolation. Think tanks, politicians and scientists are becoming increasingly interested in relationships. Oh. Yes. Oh. Yeah. Now, I know you'll think we've made this one up, but this really is Helen and Bethany kindness. And Helen's doing something almost all parents do, copying her baby. When the baby smiles, they smile. When the baby makes a kind of pained face, they make a pained face. When the baby waves at them, they wave back. And it's wiring Bethany's brain to copy emotions, which appears is a vital skill. We've probably had experience of people that seem to be very self-centred, that they can't seem to take other people's perspective, they can't work out what other people are thinking or feeling. And it may be the case, um, the research seems to suggest it's the case, that these are the people that didn't get this kind of, um, if you like, copying training by their parents when they were young. Affection, he says, changes brains, even adult brains. Sociability, kindness, the importance of others. Take Kane's bizarre teetering studio. It's an art project, but a communal one. The letters, thoughts that people want dropped off a cliff. And many are from children. Some secret, but others all too open. The topic, friends, loneliness. Mum and Dad breaking up. David Salito, BBC News, Scarborough. Oh, let's land.